So a lot of you have recently acquired Bloodborne and there's a lot of things about the game you just don't understand. I mean after all, they don't really explain anything to you. Well let me break down a few things about the game that you may not know. Blood Echoes. Now when you play the game you will see that when you die you lose Blood Echoes and when you kill creatures you gain Blood Echoes. This is effectively the currency in the game and the currency is used for two things, leveling yourself and purchasing gear. Did you know you can also regenerate your health outside of using blood veils? When you take a hit from an enemy, you will see an orange bar pop over your red bar health. Now you have a small window of opportunity to retaliate and regenerate some of your health. So when you take a hit, jump right back in there and try to hit him back as quickly as possible before the orange bar disappears. Ever defeat an enemy and notice that he dropped a bloodstone shard? What does bloodstone shards do? They allow you to fortify your weapon, effectively increasing its attack. So gather up your bloodstone shards and increase the attack of your weapons. As you play Bloodborne more and more, you will become an experienced hunter. And most experienced hunters know the best way to stop and stagger an enemy is with a well-timed shot with your pistol. Now, if you have a lot of blood veils to spare, press up on the D-pad, you will sacrifice some of your health and you will gain five silver bullets in return. Have you ever pressed the option button on your controller and notice that there's a quick item slot, six slots to be precise? Well, what do quick items do? Well, for example, in the heat of battle, you don't have time to press option, try to select the Molotov and throw that enemy. That's basically asking to die. And that's what the quick item equip is for. So basically, you select the item from your inventory, put it in one of the six slots, in which case you can press down on the D-pad to switch between the slots. And square is the button that you'll be pressing to use a quick item. So basically, when you get into a boss battle, preferably you want to have an extra damage weapon like the Molotov. Hope this video gave you guys some quick little tips and tricks on Bloodborne. If you think these were some good tips or tricks or you like this video series, let me know in that comment section below. This is Jay Sibyl from SNN Tech. I'm out, y'all. Later.